naming collisions, or repeating host names became an evident design problem in DNS. To solve this problem, names were designed with a top-down approach, and the namespace was made to look like the roots of a tree. As the roots branch off, an organization type is indicated. Starting at the top is the top-level domain, which indicates commercial companies, military, educational institutions, governmental institutions, organizations, network resources, or geographical location. Below these top-level branches reside the individual organizations, such as Friendly Farms, a commercial company, and the University of Utopia, an educational institution. Below University of Utopia, for instance, are industrial design, theater, and art. Underneath these organizations reside the machine or host of the organizations. In this case, the machine named MARP in the art department. So, to find the fully qualified domain name, we start from the bottom of the roots with the machine named MARP and work our way through the entire domain name, writing the path from left to right, with each part of the name separated by a period. Because the Internet is global, countries had to fit somewhere into the structure of the address. Basing the system predominantly on country codes used for making international phone calls, the domain name in most cases is the geographical domain for the organizational domain name. Milk.cow.ff.com could have a geographical base name of milk.cow.ff.oh.us. OH is Ohio, and US is the United States. Or, milk.cow.ff.ns.ca. NS is Nova Scotia, and CA is Canada. Some companies may choose to have both domain names for use in international circles and within the US. However, most organizational domains in the US keep to the top-level distribution of domain names, for example, .com, .gov, .edu. At each level of the domain, a name administrator controls how the names are given out for that space. At the very top level of the domain is the Internetwork Information Center, or InterNIC. Each company or network provider must apply to the InterNIC for a domain name. The domain name system is used to retrieve IP addresses and find fully qualified domain names. A fully qualified domain name consists of a machine name, an organization name, and an organization type or country code. Telnet is a remote login applications protocol that allows you to use your local computer to use remote computers anywhere in the world through the Internet. With Telnet, you have the potential to access electronic libraries, catalogs, online databases, internet services, government agencies, universities, and computers on which you have personal accounts. The Telnet application enables two computers to agree on a terminal type, such as IBM, VMS, Mac, Unix, etc. Your local computer can emulate the remote computers and vice versa. Your local computer's input to Telnet goes through a filter that alters it into a virtual terminal. That is, your keyboard and screen virtually become a terminal at the remote site. Remote login is one of the first applications that scientists used. Otherwise, they would travel across the country to access a supercomputer site. Once remote login came onto the scene, they could access the same computer from their local workstations. To use Telnet, type the word Telnet, followed by a space, and then the name of the host. For example, to Telnet to launchpad.unc.edu, type the command Telnet launchpad.unc.edu. You will be greeted by a few lines of information and the login prompt. Often with public Telnet sites, the remote site will tell you what login name to use. In this case, the name launch is used. Now press return. Sometimes this will be followed with the prompt password. Often on a public site, the password will be your user ID. Press return and now you can start using the remote computer system. Sometimes login names are your user ID and the password is something you have set up with the system administrator in order to create a separate account for that Telnet site. 
This is often used, for example, for private Telnet sites and corporations. Telnet enables anyone with a computer and a modem to access remote sites that are open to the public. FTP, or the File Transfer Protocol, is an application that enables you to copy files, directories, and programs from a remote computer to your local computer through the TCP IP Internet Network. A file can be anything, correspondence, articles, books, spreadsheets, graphics, video, or music. The computers can be anywhere in the world, connected in various ways, and utilizing different kinds of operating systems, just as long as they run the common applications language of FTP. Different from email, FTP lets you go directly to the transfer protocol to send large files, which can include graphics, video, music, and anything else that can be digitally entered into your computer. The information can either be sent in binary mode, which copies the file into a numerical form and is like a mirror image copy of the file at your computer, or in character mode, which translates the file between different computer formats. However, this is mostly used with text-only transfers.